Now let us move on to the seasons which are in our country like India. See here. The seasons are generally categorized into three as we all know that summer, winter and the rainy seasons. Let us deal with the winter first, then we will deal with summer. Later we will detailly discuss about the rainy season, the rainy climatic conditions which are happening, what are the factors influencing the rain and all. Now let us see here, coming to summer, uh, sorry winter. In winter we have, uh, in India we experience it from mid-November to February. The coldest month is January for us. And the temperatures in North India are less than 10 or sometimes 10 or if they go on sometimes like Dal Lake is getting freezed. Like that, they go on to minus degrees also in some climatic conditions in the January, like extreme 15th to 20th and all. But when it comes to South India, as it is a peninsular part, you get the thing here, like because it is covered by water on th three sides, so it is having the moderate influence here, the average temperature would be 20 degrees. So when it compares to North India, here you are having less temperature, but when it moves on to South India, it is having the moderate climatic condition. Winters are not so severe as that of in North India when compared to South India. And coming to the cli uh, sky, how is the sky here? The sky is very pleasant, clear and very clean climatic conditions. But because of the cyclonic influences which are coming from the Mediterranean Sea Belt, we get some disturbances or some kind of rainfall may occur during the mid-November or December seasons when there is any depression occurring in the Mediterranean Sea coast. That is from the west we get the influence of that. During that period, we are having the rubby season for us which is provided as an additional advantage for us because when it brings rains for us, it brings water for the fields that is adding as a boon for the rabi crop which is in the north as well as in the south India. And when it is passing from northern hemisphere, in the northern hemisphere as it is coming from the interior places, we get the cold winds which are covering the Bay of Bengal which brings the moisture of the Bay of Bengal and moves on into the land part and because the land part first touches the eastern coast that is Tamil Nadu Coromandel coast that is blocked by the hills here, Sarkar hills. So you get blocked and due to the recreation process and the rainfall precipitation procedure that gets blocked here and in the Coromandel coast, you get showers of rain during the winter also. So during winter, we have moderate climatic conditions in South India, but in North India, they experience extreme cold climatic conditions. Sometimes it is less than 10 or it is in the minus degrees also. As the climatic condition moves on towards the South, it is a moderate and average, it is up to 20. In some areas, it is up to 25 degrees. And coming to the cyclones which are forming in the Mediterranean coast, you get the mixture of the rainfall and it is adding as a boon to our rabi crop during that period, especially wheat is done during that period. And in the, because of the influence of the northern hemisphere and the Mediterranean sea coast, whatever we are getting, they move on from the Bay of Bengal and move towards the moisture they collected from the Bay of Bengal and touch the coromandel coast of Tamil Nadu, they rain in the Tamil Nadu region. 